Hey, hello everyone. This is Bruno from the Cloud Advocates team, focus on .NET and AI. And today I want to share with you a super popular scenario that a lot of people ask about, which is basically how we can analyze videos using models like GPT-40, which is a multimodal model that supports text and image. And today we have an amazing announcement around, announcements around new models that support audio and more, but let's focus on analyze video. So in order to do this, let me go back to my code. This is a very simple piece of code. And what you see here is that they have a very simple application that runs with Suspire. Let's run the application. And it's basically have a WinForm front end. It's a chat front end. And I have an Aspire dashboard here. And what I am going to do, I am going to pick up a video like this one. Let me open the video here. And you see here that this is a video that we can, we, we can see a fire truck getting away from the fire station. I think I record this in Seattle, New York, I can't remember, in one of the North America places. So what I am going to do, I'm going to pick up that video and I'm going to ask the, describe this. Okay, there it is. We have a response, took some time and said it took literally nine seconds and say, looks at the fire station, decided it was time to send out the big red truck. We go for an empty station to a fire engine. It works. Let's take a look how it's how it's working. So basically, what we have here, let me go to the chat controller, is a very, very simple implementation. This is literally the easiest code that you are going to see. When we have a question that is sending the video, and we are sending the video right now using an array of bytes, no encoding, nothing. We just pick up the file, open as byte, and send it there. We are going to create a chat message content needed collection. And then we are going to ask the question. So we have a question. And then we are going to have, we are going to analyze the video and get the keyframes of the video. Let's analyze this, this function a while. So we are going to work here. I have a 14 number of frames. Uh, you can do more or less. I think between 10 and 15 is good enough for these short videos. And first of all, I need to store the video locally. I am using OpenCV to do this. And when I have the video, I am going to get open a new video capture. If you know OpenCV, this is a super popular line. And then it's going to start to get the frames. Once I have all the frames, and this is the key part, I am going to basically get a key set of frames there, 14 over the total. And I am going to encode these frames into a byte array that is going to be added into a collection, into a list that is going to be returned back to the message. And when I have this, the next big four here is basically add a new image content item with the right of byte with the frame that I created. With that, I can send this and it will work with it will work to analyze the video. And again, I am using GPT-40 or GPT-40 Mini. I can remember here in this demo. But we can do more. If I pick up another video, let me go this one. Let me open here. Let me put this one here. Like this one, where you can see we have a car and there is a, someone recording the car, and we have some accidents in the car, some scratches, bumpers, and more. And we even finish the video taking a look at the number of kilometers or miles of the car. We can add this video, and we can use a little bigger prompt here to basically ask our model to analyze the video. So let me open Notepad, and let me show you. This is the prompt that we are going to use. So you are an expert in evaluating the car damage for a car accident, uh, for auto insurance, create an indice report, and show me these three sections with the car details, with the car damage, and only include exactly six sentence description for the car damage. So let's use this prompt and let's analyze this video. There it is. We have the analysis done and let's take a look. And hey, it's super accurate. We have here the plate, 251, the make, Toyota Camry, the year, probably 2009, blue, the mileage, the set of the issues and the scratches of the passenger, and more. And hey, because we are using Aspire, if I go to see the traces here, I can see how we call the chat form, a chat from the, from the backend, and also to the to the OpenAI, the Azure OpenAI model that I am using to do this. So this is a very, very simple scenario. And remember, everything is here if you want to use it. So I hope you like it. 
It's a super fun, super fast five minutes demo of how you can use model, these amazing models to analyze video, C-sharp, semantic kernel, the stuff that we know and like it. See you in the next one. Goodbye.